Welcome back to American Muscle. So, who looked good at this year's Mr. Olympia? Don Ross tells all on this month's Weeder Muscle Beach News. Welcome to Weeder's Muscle Beach News. This is Don Ross with News and Views, and I'm gonna tell it like it is. The big question at the Mr. Olympia this year is what happened to Sean Ray? Bodybuilding's total package did a lot of wolfing on this show, threatening to annihilate Lee Haney. The week before the show, his gym mate said he was ripped to the bone and bigger than ever. But he showed up in Orlando, Florida, over Cobb and was a puffball of water retention. As prejudging continued, he began shedding water and looking better. But when Ray actually came face to face with the man he boasted he'd beat, reality struck like a lightning bolt. It was Sean who was intimidated. Though he lucked out in placing fifth ahead of the shredded Francis Benfato and the Herculean Sonny Schmidt, Sean still has the potential to do it someday with a lot less wolf and a lot better planning. Another big disappointment was the judge's failure to compare the massive Occam Albrecht to Dorian Yates and Lee Haney. Though he looked a bit drawn and lacked a professional presentation, the man Joe Weider calls the next Arnold certainly was physically impressive enough to deserve that comparison. Lee Haney. Anything I say about this man would be an understatement. Amid speculation that he'd be conquered by one of several hungry young lions, Haney never lost confidence. Forecasters of doom named politics as a nemesis. Would Haney be allowed to break Schwarzenegger's record with eight straight wins? Would Haney fall in disfavor due to his contractual affiliations? Haney's ultimate statement came at the end of pre-judging when he hit a double bicep shot next to the shredded powerhouse Dorian Yates. Yes, Haney was better than ever, the best in the world today, maybe the greatest of all time. Long live Lee Haney, eight times Mr. Olympia. Now let's go to my favorite sport of all, women's bodybuilding. With the Ms. Olympia in the works, the focus is on the reigning champion, Linda Murray. While she has the genetics to be the female counterpart to Lee Haney and keep winning the title forever, will she put it all together this year and make it two in a row? The first goal of every bodybuilder is to win the NPC National Championships, formerly the IFBB Mr. America. The big question this year is, will Matt Mendenhall fulfill the prophecy of experts, including Joe Weider himself, and finally turn pro? Matt had many chances to prove himself, but never wanted to risk losing size or diet strictly for months on end to shed that Pillsbury Doughboy look and come in like a stone sculpture. What will it be this year, Matt? Champion or chubster? The newest bodybuilding sensation, Dennis Newman, winner of San Diego's Muscle Mania, will sit out the Nationals this year. His plan is to take time to improve his physique before tackling the big one. But what I could never understand is why lose that momentum when you're on a roll? You're only giving another guy a chance to get the PR at the next qualifier and stand ahead of you in line. Joe Weider has a lot of faith in Canadian giant Paul Dillette. So much, in fact, that he was given a contract without as much as having won a contest, let alone turning pro. On his first attempt at a big title, Paul met defeat under the bulging biceps of the muscular Marine Ray McNeil at the North American Bodybuilding Championships. Getting into an argument with the judges when he showed up late at the weigh-in didn't help create a good first impression. For those of you who miss the exciting Mr. Olympia, American Muscle will have complete coverage in a special one-hour program. Look for it on ESPN in February. Remember, you can always count on the Ripper to give you the latest news, gossip, and controversy on Weeders Muscle Beach News.